Hello, everyone. Good afternoon. I want to share today some essentials for peace and presence. I believe that we allow heroic moments into our life when we're peaceful and present, when we're here. So who am I and why am I here? My name's Jimmy Tomzak. I'm an author. I'm an entrepreneur. I like to help people live their best life now, to self-actualize in the present. But enough about me. Why are you here? You are here. You chose to be here. That's significant. So I want you to turn to the person next to you. And again, this will be done silently. Maybe it's someone new, maybe it's not. But if you can find someone next to you, just look them in the eye for a second and say, with, with your heart, from the heart, thank you for being here, silently. Just acknowledge that peace and presence within and recognizing it in another. Thank you for being here. Thank you. Thank you. Because you can't be a hero unless there's someone else there, that you're helping someone else, that you've chosen to do something out of the ordinary. So I want to talk a little bit more about that because commitment is where it starts. Your commitment to excellence, your commitment to yourself, your commitment to being the best person you can be. That's success. Most of the time, people think about success, about fame and fortune and perhaps some monetary value. I did. I studied neuroscience at the University of Michigan, and I thought I was going to go to med school. I wanted to be a pediatric neurosurgeon. Instead, I've always had this entrepreneur, entrepreneurial blood in me from starting a lawn business when I was 15 years old to selling things on eBay eventually to inventing a product and starting the company behind it. We took billboard vinyl, those things that you see on the road when you're driving down the road, and made minimalist sandals out of them, shoes. And we sold them around the world. I was even selected to appear and taped for an episode of Shark Tank. I feel like once you pitch something at Sony Picture Studios with 20 cameras and a bunch of sharks in front of you, you can talk to anyone about anything. And I believe that you should. Because that's inspiration. Inspiration is in doing, full stop. That's what my book is about, and that's what my life is about. All these pictures will take you on a personal journey because they're part of my personal journey. So when you look at this, this is uh, from the top of the lighthouse in Muskegon, Michigan. We recently chose to call West Michigan home, and so one of the tours that we wanted to take was to climb to the top of this lighthouse and look out. And that infinite horizon, that view, as far as the eye can see, that inspires me. But inspiration isn't anything unless you take action. And so that's the call to adventure. Most of the time, people think about adventure, and they think about some great life travel and some experience that takes them without. But this talk is about going within the call to personal adventure, to go directly to the pain and directly through the fear to find out why you're here. This is a picture of my little sister, Anne. She has special needs. Uh, she was born with Down syndrome and then juvenile diabetes, and every day can be a challenge, but truly she lives every day as an adventure. She'll be 18 this year, and she reminds me of what a real hug is or what one of those authentic connections like we just shared, when you look someone in the eye and you say, wow, you're great, or thank you for being here, or thanks for doing, thanks for giving your greatest gift, and then giving more of it. Because that's love. And I want us to come to know more of it, because to me, that's heroism. This is a picture of me and my partner at Burning Man. It's a desert festival, a desert arts festival, held in Nevada where during that week, during that one week, it becomes the largest city in Nevada. People come together with, with nothing on this open expanse of flat land, bringing everything they need, food, water, shelter, and of course, gifts to share with people, and of course, ways, new ways to share a moment of love. Love is unconditional. You have to love what you do, and you have to love the person you're next to. That's how we find more hero moments. So make that commitment. Remember I said commitment is success. And so it starts with your commitment to yourself, but it can continue as you commit to those around you. 
And with that, I want to bring to mind the sense of spirit. Religion and spirituality isn't something often talked about unless you find yourself in a place of religion or spirituality. But the spirit that I'm talking about today is the spirit within that moves you to do something big, to take boldness, to take to heart the words and things that other speakers have brought. This photo was taken on an impromptu road trip to the south. We went to Tennessee after driving all day and all night and very sleepy still to wake up to watch the eclipse. And this was the sun filtering through the trees with, with mist and fog in the morning. The picture really doesn't capture it. But then how do you capture something like that? People matter most, full stop. I love bringing people together, and I love doing it for a good reason. My background is in marketing and brand strategy. I've helped name companies, I've helped brand companies, and I've helped people tell their story. So in telling part of my own, I'll tell you about different get-togethers I've had, from bonfires to dinners to themed parties around coffee or even just bringing people together to share a, a smoothie. That one was called Blender Bash. <laughs> people matter most, and the people that you choose to surround yourself with are the ones that you'll be able to help, the ones that you'll be able to give more to. Speaking of giving, let's talk about the power of gifts. My latest, life, my latest life's work, something I couldn't not do, was to write a book. The book brings together loving and losing, starting a business and having to end it, of traveling the world and writing in a journal since I was younger than some of the people in the room today. I've always carried a notebook with me and I'd write down what I saw or what I felt or what I heard or notes about the people that I met. And eventually it became a blog and that blog spread and I packaged it into a book that I could better share with the world. It's an heirloom hardcover that was printed right here in Michigan and I did a Kickstarter to raise the, raise the funds to do it. There's no reason why you can't. If you believe and you commit to it, you'll get there wherever you want to get. I've given away over 5,000 copies of the Amazon Digital Edition, and you can go there today. And if you type in Lakeside and Tide, inspiration for living your best life now, you can see that. You can learn a little bit more about me and a little bit more about the adventure. But remember, this is about your adventure. My book, you can open it to any page and find something in it that can help you live a better life by challenging yourself, by stepping to that edge and finding it and not giving up. Personal heroism. It doesn't have to be entrepreneurship held on a pedestal or fame and fortune. It can be a small win, something you don't share with anyone. Maybe something that you purposely don't share with anyone. Try that. Presence. Now remember, I started this talk, Essentials for Presence and Peace. So it's a little bit redundant to say presence is one of those principles, but stick with me here. This is another picture at Burning Man. This is the temple. It's a non-religious quiet place where people bring mementos or photos of loved ones lost. They write on the temple things that they might not even share with anyone. But they write it there in this very public place where people come and really they can do whatever they want, but typically there's singing or just relaxing, perhaps meditating, breathing. We can all take a deep breath now. Ready? <sighs> Let it out. That's presence. Why am I sharing this photo with you? Because, like all things, even Burning Man ends, and they burn it. This beautiful structure that should be put in a museum or experienced or stand the test of time, is put to fire on the last day of the festival. And just like us in a heroic moment that might be shared or not shared, it will end. And you'll have to consider that your life will end as well. And so what are you doing right now? Death is the greatest reminder of a call to life, a call to action, and the importance of taking a deep breath and a quiet moment today. The people around us matter. Who we spend our time with matters. If there's one thing that you can take away from this today, 
It's to meet a new friend. To start with a new vision, to have a greater look out on the horizon, to share something you've never shared before just because you can, and to keep doing that again and again every day. How we spend our time determines how we live our lives, and it determines how we show up as a hero every day. Try doing something that only you can do and keep doing it again and again and again. And you'll get where you're going if you know where you're going, if you're committed, if you're present, if you love, if you do something that inspires. You'll know it because people will come up to you and say, hey, wow. So share more wow moments. Share more moments of love. Share more moments of peace and presence and let me know how I can help. I'm here for you today, just like everyone else in the room is here for each other. This is my social and my website where you can contact me by email. I can help people start a business. I can help people grow in their own personal lives. And I want to keep doing that more and more. And I hope that you guys can too. Thank you. The Hero Roundtables are the global events that ask the question, what is a hero? You've just seen one hero talk. To find more and join the conversation, visit our website or social media.